Good morning, everybody. We're back out here working on the Airstream and trying to get things going. And I thought, um, kind of a break from the construction stuff, we'd share a little more about why we're even doing this and, and how we got here. Because I'll tell you, this was never something I envisioned doing. I never saw it in my future, but with our kids getting older and kind of life speeding up on us, it was uh, something that Andrea actually brought to us um, sitting on the river. Uh, for those of you guys that are out camping a lot up on the Poudre River, we have a little thinking rock we like to go to and it was her idea to share it. And quite honestly, she wasn't sure what my reaction was gonna be. So I'd like to share that story a little bit and kind of why we're doing what we're doing. So uh, it had been after some work experiences where I was on the road a ton. I was traveling to our team and our communities and I was having a ton of fun doing it. I was loving learning new places, uh, little towns and, and the community within that. Afterward, I had realized that that was something that I was super passionate about that I had no idea. Raising babies was my priority for the last 23 years and I uh, had no idea that it was something that I really enjoyed doing. So after some thinking and processing, we just you know, talked about what would it look like if we decided to do more on the road than have a home kind of a life. Yeah, and I think it's important to know that like, that was really the first time you ever traveled by yourself. Mostly, yeah. The first time you had you know, driven all those miles without us. And, and it coincided with me retiring from police work after 21 years. So I was able to stay at home and, and we had some local businesses so I could run those and be with the kids. And you took off on the road and, and really found a new side of yourself that I, I don't think we knew was really there. Yeah, it was nothing that had been developed or thought about or even, um, you know, practiced ever in my life. So it was it was definitely an exciting time and, and that really got us having conversations about what does the next chapter in our life look like. We still have, you know, 18 to 20 months of family activities and kids at home and then if and when they choose to do something else, what does that mean for us and what, what passions do we have and how do we uh, work? and enjoy life all together. Yeah, one of the benefits to having your kids early is when they do leave, you're still young enough to really enjoy um, all that's out there in the world and physically able to partake in it and explore. So, you know, for me, I, I just saw people that were always putting things off until later in life and, and then they, they didn't get to it and maybe their health deteriorated or life circumstances hit them and everything kind of went to the back burner and, and I, I didn't want to accept that. I really I wanted more in life and I wanted more experiences, more travel, more opportunities and uh, this provides us that. You know, we're fortunate enough we have made some changes in life and, and had some luck along the way to where we can really work from all over the place and instead of being from somewhere, we can be from everywhere. And that kind of coincides with how I grew up. I, if people asked me where I was from, it was like a 20 minute dissertation on all the places I lived. So I wasn't really from anywhere, but I went to high school here. I was in the military there. I grew up over there. And honestly, being in Fort Collins the last 20 years is the longest I've ever lived anywhere. And Andrea will tell you like every four or five years, I'm kind of like, okay, we should move. Like we've been here for a while, it's time to go explore other stuff. And she always kind of fought me. I was like, oh my gosh, can't you just settle down? Why can't you just be, you know, work and then come home and be content? And it was just never in my nature. I always wanted to be experiencing other things and moving and I'm not afraid to, to pack up and go. So this is kind of the perfect answer. We can pack up and go and bring our house with us. Well, we've done a ton of work in between when we actually get on the road to where we started, if there is a starting point, I mean, we can go into downsizing our first home into this home that we're in now and uh, creating work that allows us to be 
on the go and that's been a ton of effort and energy and love and reconstruction of what our dreams have been and it evolves consistently and continually as well so you know it, i don't think as people are starting to think about what else in life is possible uh that there's a black and white answer or that it doesn't evolve in time and ours surely has uh and it it's kind of been interesting to have the dreams build upon each other uh, and have it all seem like, gosh, there was a reason and a purpose that we did this step or this step or this step to get to where we're, we're headed next. So, Or that we didn't do a step. Yeah. Right? When we thought maybe we missed out on an opportunity or, man, I just wish this would have happened differently. Now we look back and we're like, maybe it happened that way to teach us something or for us to appreciate something or that wasn't what we were supposed to be doing. And I think for me, one of my favorite parts of this journey and kind of doing things differently. So retiring early, taking risk on business, wanting to live on the road and travel. One of the things I enjoy is being outside the norm. And I enjoy seeing our friends and people that are around us are like, what are you guys doing again and why? Um, because that's kind of how I like to live. I, I don't want to be like everybody else. And Andrea will tell you, ironically, being a policeman forever, I hate rules. And she, and you know, when people put rules on me, like, I'm almost always going to do the opposite. And this kind of feels like that. Rebels, man, rebels. So stay tuned. We look forward to continuing to have you uh, with us on this journey that we called the abundant life and and just see where we're headed and what we're up to And we'd love to hear from you guys where you're headed and what you're up to and some of your dreams and goals Because truly this adventure that we're all on life is so much more sweet when it's shared. Yeah, and it's short It's short, you know, and, and I think we're very much in tune to our time here is limited and we don't want to waste it And we love being around people that want to enjoy it like we do so we appreciate you being here and we look forward to sharing the journey. Bye for now, you guys.